Hey everybody, tonight, this morning, we are going to do a review on this. I'm going to do a review, you're going to watch the review. Please watch the review. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a review on this knife here. This is obviously a Wii, and I'm not going to tell you what number it is, but it starts with a 7 and ends with a 15. This is the Wii 715D, and a friend of mine sent this to me. I don't remember if this is the one he sent to me on accident, but it was fortuitous if it was an accident. Yeah, I think this is the accidental one. So I'm going to review it and then send it on to him because I don't have one of these and I haven't had a chance to look at them. So his his error is our our what our gift, our pleasure, our good fortune. All right, check that out, and I will tell you what I love this knife. Oh, this is everything I wanted the four ZT450 to be it it's just about perfect for this kind of knife but I'm not gonna tell you right away let's get into this real quick so we got one two three three and a half inches of VG10 look at the way this is all shiny and this is all stone wash isn't that cool looking check that out I like this little teardrop hole here I'm not sure how useful it is let's try it I'm not gonna flick this open a lot because this is not my knife there's no way that's going to happen. Let's try from this angle here. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Because you got to put too much pressure on this bar back here. Maybe if you have better, more nimble fingers. But anyways, the flips, the flip is there. It's a cool decoration. If you have nimble fingers, you might be able to use it. But holy heck, look at this thing. Check that out. All right. I'm not going to flip it. I'm not going to flip it a lot. I'm going to be gentle with it. So, you have one, two, three, four and a half inches. G10 on the presentation side here, of course, with the Wii logo and some of that Wii proprietary hardware, which angers a lot of people. I didn't even look. Is there a tool in here to come? Well, it came with the tool, so I don't know why it makes you angry. Don't let it make you angry. All right, so it's got that G10, a nice smooth type G10 on here. And then, of course, on the lock side, it has that titanium, that stonewash titanium-looking stuff, and that is awesome. Check that out. And lefties, it's got left-right tip-up carry. And hard to flip if you push it on that lock bar, though, just a little bit. So it's got a perfect detent as long as you're not pushing down that lock bar. Just a nice... Okay, I said I wasn't going to flip it anymore. Dang, damn it. All right, I'm sorry. This that was the last time. No more flipping. Runs on bearings. Check that out in there. You see in there, pretty good. So it's running on bearings. It does have the lock bar insert there, so you don't have to worry about tearing up your lock bar and it wearing down too quickly on you. I love the hardware on this. I love this darker gray hardware. Check that out. And of course, <laughs> ginormous lanyard hole. Good for a 550 can fit right through there. It's got a semi-open construction. I think this is a titanium backspacer here. And it is not heavy, it just feels good. It, like I said, if you own a 450, if you're a normal sized hand person and you own a 450, then you're gonna love this. If your hands are bigger and you've wanted to own a 450, or you felt held in hand and, and you think, oh, if I just had you know a quarter more or half more an inch, this, this is what you wanted the 450 to feel like. I know it sounds weird or it sounds funny, but I'm serious. I bought the 450 probably four or five times and sold it each time. Dad, come and I flipped it again. Mm. All right, that was it. I promise. I'm sorry. So I bought the 450 several times and I've sold it every time. And it's like every time I, it's like going to the refrigerator six or seven times a day and thinking, oh, let something appear. So I buy the 450 thinking maybe the milk is going to appear at the end there and it doesn't. But this is it. This is the one. So the 450 you're gonna, is probably going to end right about there. That's what it feels like. And this one just gives you a little bit extra on that butt end. And it just feels good in hand. Check that out. All right. I'm not going to close it because then I'd have to open it again for the weight and for the comparison. Now I just got to find the scale. I was weighing something here today. What was I weighing? Oh, that's what I was weighing. I was weighing my son's plate of nachos. Holy heck, he tried to sneak past me and go to his room. And I said, what in the world are you doing? Come here, how many nachos you got there? And he had a pound and a half of nachos on his plate. 
It looked like he was smuggling it into a Super Bowl party. So, now I can't find the scale as a punishment. I mean, oh, that's behind me. I should stop talking. All right, this is what happens when you take energy drink and Benadryl. Let's turn this on. Check this out. Let's see how light this thing is. It's... Look at that, 3.17 ounces. And that is... 90 grams. That's almost pocket chunker weight. So if it's almost under three ounces there, this is just about perfect for anything. This would fit good in your pocket, go to church, try to type a knife. It's just a great knife. Oh, I'm still flipping it. Oh, <laughs> what is my problem? Okay. Now, let's see. I have to open it one more time now for the comparison. I'm so sorry. I'm such a liar. Oh, man. All right. So let's just compare it to some other knives real quick so you kind of see what you're looking at now i know a bunch of y'all have this knife let's check it out this is the tangram rumbler rumble rumble master rumble 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 young man one of those so there's that there's the tangram and this this is the one that everything gets compared to the pm2 so you see that blade is pretty close in in length right around right length and actually, it's pretty close in length back here on the the handle. So you're getting a little bit extra on, on the Spyderco. But it's not as thick, obviously. This thing, this thing is be good for smaller hands and bigger hands. Because if your hand's much bigger than mine, you're going to have to shop at a different store. But this feels good in hand for, for different size hands. And it's, it, I like it. So that's it. That's it. I'm putting it away. I'm not going to open it again. If y'all want to see what this looks like, you're going to have to rewind this thing. And for you younger people in the audience, rewind is, goes back to a time when you had tapes and you had to actually spin it backwards to get to where you were before. And now we old folks just say rewind to everything. Huh. I wonder when rewind is going to go away. Pretty quick, probably. Okay, I think that's it. This is a great knife. It's about 125 bucks on Blade HQ, and I think I saw it on GP Knives. I, I didn't see it on Knife Center, but if if you like, and I and every time I've bought the 450, it's been about 120, 130 bucks on the secondary market. Now the steel, of course, on the 450 is S35VN, so it's going to be a little upgrade in steel. The VG10, not a super steel. It's kind of like a mid middle tight budget steel just like right in there in that 154 cm area so it might be a little bit less in steel but what it lacks in the steel and most of y'all are not going to notice the difference in steel but what it lacks in the steel it definitely makes up in usability and the oh i just flipped it again dead gummit all right i gotta end this video before i just go crazy here so if you like the if you like the 450 I, you're gonna love this knife if you almost like the 450 then this look at me I'm gonna put it away just so I don't look it's in here seriously holy heck what is wrong with me all right if you almost like the 450 you're gonna love this knife and it, it feels real good in hand it feels like the 450 you wanted it to so you got VG 10 three and a half inches of steel there excellent feel in the hand four and a half inches g10 on one side it just feels real good i can't open it again it's in here it's in its cocoon of sleep until it gets to where it's going i appreciate you letting me borrow this i know it was an accident but i appreciate you letting me look at it anyways and i'll definitely get this out today this is not going to be seen until next week because i can't i think it's a gift for somebody else a surprise so y'all won't be seeing this so this is happening a week before this is released so the super bowl go patriots Yay, Patriots, get get in there and win. And so, no, I'm just kidding. I know who won the Super Bowl. And I'm not going to tell you just in case you live under a rock or you made a bet or you want to bet somebody else. Or I'm not going to tell you, but I'm just going to say if, if you bet your house on the Patriots, you're going you're gonna to want to get a hotel room pretty quick here. All right, that's it. Get over to Facebook. We had a really cool Super Bowl thing there last week because it was actually last night, but... It was last week. There was a winner. There was a new knife for the giveaway. Get over to Facebook. We'd like to see you over there. We're having some really cool discussions. Lots of cool people. And I think that's it. 
It's a bummer. Y'all ain't going to see this until next week. But since you're watching it now, it's cool with me. I will talk to y'all later.